how I was able to shift from a shitty reality to my desired reality. This beautiful family, this is Danielle. Welcome back to my channel. So on today's video, we're going to be talking about reacting to the 3D reality and being able to shift into the state of your desired reality. Now, I've been getting a lot of questions in the comments about how do I stay in my desired reality or how do I stop reacting despite my circumstances. So we're going to get into it in this video today. Now, just so you guys know, I am a Mindset and Manifestation Coach. If you would like to work with me, you can check the description box down below. The Law of Assumption, you really should start referring to this as a Law of Expectancy. It has come to my attention that most people, um, they want to visualize, they want to do techniques, they want to be able to be like, oh my goodness, how can I get this fast? I get it. We want everything instant. However, the easiest way that I have found to get into the um, desired state of like the wish fulfilled or your desired outcome or your desired reality is really to expect that things are going to happen. And if you expect something to happen and you're going about your day as if it's already happening, if you're studying for a test, if you're thinking about SP, if you're exercising, you're doing yoga, any of these normal things that you do in your life and just as you're doing those things, expect that your desire is going to happen. This is aside from affirming. This is aside from like scripting. This is a no technique video, by the way. I, I don't know if I said that. This is about really accepting that your reality that you desire to be in, it exists in multiple realities, multiple dimensions. It just means that you need to choose. I'm going to share with you exactly how I was able to shift from a shitty reality to my desired reality. And it took me probably about maybe a week, like a little under a week, but I was just very consistent. And so this brings me to my next, I hate to even bring this up because a lot of my coaching clients recently have expressed to me that they've been having intrusive thoughts. You guys know this whole thing? Like, do you guys know there's a whole like sub culture of manifesting community that talk about intrusive thoughts? I didn't even know this. Well, thank God I have a very extensive background in understanding the brain and the mind. Because intrusive thoughts, I've affirmed that my intrusive thoughts don't have any say in my manifestation. So this is what I want to say for those of you who um, feel like you're having negative thoughts and intrusive thoughts, but you're still thinking that your manifestation won't happen. So I did the research. I did it for you because, you know, this is what your girl does. I'm not one of those those people that's airy-fairy. I need the science with the metaphysical. That's truly like who I am. This is the reason why I became a coach is because I need to do the research on how the mind works and also on how you can in your everyday life like relax your mind most of you guys are out here just like stressing out over over thoughts that will never manifest intrusive thoughts do not manifest I've done the research your intentions your intentions more so than just random thoughts so if you have a random thought about something that, that you don't like that doesn't necessarily mean that you're gonna get that right away what is more important is for you to focus on your dominant state of being. How do you feel about the thing that you're desiring to have versus the negative thoughts? Okay, let me rewind that back. How do you feel about your true manifestation versus the negative thought? What are your intentions? This is the key to understanding that your thoughts are a part of the equation, but the main thing is your intention your true beliefs about it. Those are the things that you can recreate. But don't let your thoughts be running random and you thinking that these thoughts are just like going to manifest. It's your dominant state. It's like what you truly intend to have. Your true desire, your heart's desire is what is actually manifesting. And I hope that gives you solace because most of your negative thoughts, you don't really want that stuff to happen, so it's not gonna happen. So be easy. A thought is just a thought as long as you don't intend for that thought to happen. Let it go. Overthinking and um, overconsumption on YouTube. Just be mindful. 
don't don't go checking for YouTube videos for eight hours instead of like assuming that your reality is yours. Reacting to your 3D reality is you telling yourself that you don't believe that manifestation is real. Like deliberate manifestation, conscious manifestation. And guys, we're overthinking this stuff. It's, it's not this hard. It's not this hard. Manifestation is not this hard. We're all overthinking it. And standing in your desired reality is really shifting into the desired state without second guessing yourself and not thinking that your thoughts are manifesting every single little thought. You have over like 70,000 thoughts a day. They're not all manifesting. Only your pure heart's desires are what the bulk of your manifestations are going to be. And that's all I have to say. I don't know if I said enough, but um, I'm, I'm recording this video like at 2 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm still going to offer you guys Law of Assumption. I'm still going to offer you guys manifestation techniques and tips. But I, as a coach, as a person who this is my life, um, my life's purpose, I'm going to be expanding the topics of your mind, like literally your mind and how to quiet your mind, how to um, understand that your thoughts are not who you are. You are not your thoughts. So if you are looking forward to community and really having like-minded people around you and not just like being on YouTube and just being in this whole algorithm of craziness, then you need to check the description box down below. Love you guys dearly. Take care of yourself wherever you are and I will talk to you in the next video. Peace. Nails. Look at my nails. <laughs>